Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through oil, run through gold, and I've, I've probably come across a little bit bearish on, on these these um, two in, the, in over the last week or so. Now, I'm not bearish. Gold is in an uptrend. Oil emerging bull. I'm just kind of bearish on the, the move now. Um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I screen the markets every night. And when oil's going to move, I see oil stocks before the news. If gold's going to move, I see gold stocks before the news. But first things first, let's just go into the trend models and have a look what, you know. Brent emerging bull. What does that mean? Well, it's it's trying to sort of uh, build a base. It's, it you know, it's not bullish yet. It's going sideways. Gold, obviously bull. Move on from that. So, this was the first news event. I drew this, I'll probably drop this on, on Twitter as well. You can go and look at it, time stamped. Straight away, it's just the mother of all, you know, sell to the public moves. You know, this, it screams, big gap up, huge gap up on this one. It just screams, you know, hang on a minute. These are efficient markets. Oil is a very efficient market, so is gold. You know, is there a reason, is there any trend? No, there's no trend. You know, since it broke trend, it's just gone wide and loose. So we, we've put some levels in here, you know. I, I think it will be just happy trading in, in and around here for the near future. But we've come into another news event. Same again. You know, a news event can pop these things short term. For big players to get on board, you know, it's probably usually you get a coil. It's like when a stock goes up on really great news, retail chases the stock, and then all of a sudden that they're all throw, throwing the stock out again as it pulls back in on them, and then it makes the move. So, you know, we've got a news event again. They've done the classic, the offside gap, gaps it to a new high, bang, it comes back in. Now, I'll say again, no oil stocks going through my screens. You know, none of the leading oil stocks. A, a smattering of, you know, small cap ones are starting to hit the screens recently. You know, blue sky sort of penny stocks. But, you know, that's because money's flowing into a bit more risk, not because there's a big move in oil. So, you know, there it is again. They gap it up, down it comes. And then we're, we're right back into the range. You know, we're actually below last week's low, I think. Um, this is our view. It could coil up, normal action, and then there might be. You, this green box here is, is we said in chat yesterday, maybe we'll start seeing um, oil stocks hit the screens. You know, we'll, we'll start. Because the, the trouble with oil stocks is, you know, you've got the volatility of, of commodity related you've got that thrown in the mix so they don't trend well they never have they're volatile they make you know it's a lot easier to make money in, in things what are smooth trending without any sort of commodity risk so when that when it's on it's on though you know when it's on everything's on they all set up together they all move out together apart from the occasional outliers what, what's got bigger reasons to move so that, that is oil. And I'll just put gold up. So gold spot, it just went up on this move. Composite didn't follow. Um, it kind is kind of there. Um, let's look at this again. And we had World War Three in the mix, you know. And uh, basically, if you look at it, it moves strongly up, sort of 
in the evening or early hours was it in the evening yeah late hours and then it basically i'm looking on the intraday here it's uh, basically it just fell through its opening range on on the 8th and closed on the lows and now it's it's down again taking the range out again and it's trading below the previous three days low now so one two three days so what what do we make of this well it was exactly the same scenario f for me struggling to find any gold stocks what were on in play and i know people will tell me that gold stocks are in play there'll be a few um i'm just going to go through those gold stocks for you let me just find them custom lists uh, there might be a few missing out of here but i've got a list with a few of these in so you know let's just go what what's up in, in the gold area today vast resources is up ah you know look at it let me just clear this chart off i'll just leave this purple this is a 10 month it's it's the, it's basically a smoother version of the 200 day um you know this one here full on pos stock sentiment's just been wide loose awful for a long time uh you'll see our areas of interest on this first pullback second pullback we it went through the screens again here this was the easy move sol gold nothing to see here this one here there was a, a nice breakout here not the best one to take at the time see another one there still not the best one to take the time these will just lose your money hand over fist these crappy end of the market stocks I mean, i've just got an error come up let me just get error comes straight back up again <laughs> um here's another one another real sort of you know at the time when gold was moving there was a lot better gold stocks to trade this one here yeah it's it's come back into the base you know it made a little pop and came back into the base let's check i haven't got the log scale on but you'll see a lot of these blue sky gold stocks are just wide loose or in a downtrend not many of them are rising um this one srb hit our screens before any of that news came out so uh polymetal Hit my sort of uh, swing screen, but dip back in. This one, best, you know, the best one at the moment. It's, you know, uh, high five to the TB members uh, who, who took it here. So, you know, they're, they're up with a, with a good cushion on that, 50%. Highland Gold, you can see our entries on that way in the past, you know. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Anglo-Asian. Possibility. Could be a lower high building on that. You know, ju just to... I know everyone knows I've, in, in chat I've already sold it. I sold it here. Um, I'm... I got out of all of my position above 160 so and that money was ploughed into a lot of extremely good good movers as well since so so rather than it doing nothing there it's made a lot the money what i took out of that has made a lot of money in other areas so you know swings and roundabouts this one here you can see our, our entry here on this one you know if you're trying to trade this up here you know where was the low risk entry well I, I swear it was down at 40p this one here the low risk entry we posted was here you know it certainly wasn't anywhere here you know and these deep pullbacks you know pullbacks should not pull in 50 percent if they're strong stocks you're trying to trade a dead cat bounce this is how how they end up you know some of them end up but let me look at that one as well um straight away you can see the methodology behind you know 
where, where my interest in. This one here as well, I thought this was a better one, though it trades a bit like a cardiogram. Um, just did a measured move, basically. Gold plot, ignore that one. That was, I think that was being pumped in 2010. And pure gold. So this is the last good setup we had. As a swing move, it's played out. So that, that is what I've got in there. Yes, I know there's some missing. But um, you, you've got to ask yourself, is this the start of a gold move? Or, or is it not? You know, is it the start of an oil move? Well, I'll start seeing really good setups in the leaders if it is. Is it the start of a gold move? Well, I'll start to see really good setups in the gold stocks if it is. At the moment, gold could keep trending without stocks. The commodity could trend, but the stocks have all had a good move. So, you know, you've got to remember, it's rear view mirror if you're looking at big trends, thinking it's going to do the same thing again. It is a little bit rear view mirror. The best, still probably POG and AAZ are the best. In my world, I had to take some money to put into other stuff. You know, it'd be nice if, if AAZ got news, it gapped up on that news for, for the people who are holding for that, thinking it's going to get bought out. Not my game, you know, I, I just have to sort of, you know, if I need some, some money, I'd rather take it out commodity related myself and put it into leading stocks. So that's what I've done. Um, so, you know, I don't have an opinion. I don't, you know, I have a bit of an opinion but I don't trade on my opinion. I trade on what I see in the end of day screens. What I see in the end of day screens is what we see on the news tomorrow in, in the papers. You know, they write stories about what's in play today from yesterday's screens. So it's always the same. It always will be. It always has been. Nothing ever changes. I hope you learned something from that. Okay.